Hi. Welcome to the Katie Lab Show. Today we're going to do a little something that has to do with Thanksgiving. Oh, I know, I know. Banana bread. Banana bread. We're making banana, banana bread. I think that I'm getting a cold because my voice is getting really squeaky. Yes, yeah, that. Just see this. <coughs> Did it help? Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. No, no, not yet, not yet, bro. Slow down, turkey lurkey. Okay. Today, since it's the week of Thanksgiving, I thought instead of a question and answer show, I'm going to do a little show with my kids. So you'll see that this is going to be very interesting. We're going to make banana bread. I thought that, that would be fun for Thanksgiving. Just give you guys one of my recipes that I use a lot because it's the banana bread that my mom used to make. And it was one of my favorite things that she made. So it's really simple, really easy, quick. We're going to make some banana bread. So get your hands washed, get your bacon apron on, and here we go. This is my mom's recipe with the best recipes from the kitchen of Colleen Cross. That's my mom. And we're going to make her best ever banana bread. So I'm just going to hold that right there. You guys can see the recipe. We got one cup shortening, two cups sugar, four eggs, five large bananas, two teaspoons soda, one teaspoon salt, three and a half cups flour, and one cup walnuts chopped. Now, I don't do the chopped walnuts. That's one thing that my kids don't really like, so I just leave those out of it. But you can also add stuff in if you like, like chocolate chips or anything like that. I'm just going to leave it the best ever banana bread the way it is, but without the walnuts. Hey, That's how I'm hey, make it. hey. <laughs> Okay, so we start off with one cup shortening. This is the part that makes it really healthy. <laughs> no. But it's, it will make it nice and moist and delicious. So that's what we care about in the banana bread today. Not health, just delicious. Okay, got it, Rocker. No, 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 you will not. No, spit it out, spit it out. Dude, ew. I told you. I told you. <laughs> Did you see him gag? Oh my gosh, she totally just gagged on that. <laughs> Don't eat your shortening, guys. It's not good yet. We haven't put the sugar in it. <gasps> okay, one cup sugar. Second cup sugar. <laughs> okay, now pull it open like this. Pull it open. Grab it like this. There you go. Good job. You did it. Good job. You did it. Can I stir it? He's like, that was weird. Can I stir it? <laughs> yes, you did it. Good job, baby boy. Okay, the girls are going to start stirring that for a minute. While we've got the um, the bananas over here, I've got six large bananas. How many does it call for? Oh, five large bananas. So we'll put five large bananas in it. And these are bananas that I've kept that, you know when bananas go brown and you're like, what do I do with these? I'm just going to ditch them, you know? But when your bananas get like that, don't get rid of them. Just put them in the freezer and you save them until you want to make banana bread because they still work great for banana bread. So, the, so these are the bananas that I have frozen. We're going to take five of them. They've thawed out for about uh, five, ten minutes, so they're nice and mushy. See how the peeling just comes right off of them? So we're going to put those in next. Okay, we've mashed up the bananas. Uh, first teaspoon of baking soda. Second teaspoon of baking soda. One ah. teaspoon of salt, which is kind of a lot, but that's what it says. Okay, the last ingredient we have is the flour, three and a half cups of flour. Before I put the flour in, I'm going to mix this up really good with a hand mixer. Okay, first cup of flour. Blah. Second cup of flour. Flour. Okay, flour cup number three. <laughs> Yay! You got some crazy personality, PT. Okay, so the next step is we put our dough to the side and now we're going to grease the pans with the Crisco. So I'm gonna give you girls a paper towel and you're just going to dip it in there and like get some on your paper towel. Watch, you just fold it up, kind of like this, like that. And you dip it and get some and you're gonna rub all over your pan. 
and coat the whole inside of the pan so that the bread doesn't stick once it starts cooking. All right, so that's the next part. Grease your pan, guys. Come on, get greasing. Greasy, greasy, greasy. I like the, are you saving this some flour for later right here? Yeah. And he knows when you're away. I'm if sorry. You've been down, so we got I love Christmas music. I know it's not Thanksgiving yet, but I don't care. It's time for Christmas music, always. Yeah. 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 I should have preheated the oven to 325 and then you're going to bake for one hour at 325. All right, so we've got the dough evenly distributed in the pans until Rock Truck comes and messes with it. And we're going to bake it at 325 for an hour. Is this for the Katie Lett channel? Am I on the Katie Lett? I have not been on the Katie Lett channel in forever. You guys, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Links below, youtube.com slash shaycarl. Okay, go ahead and subscribe. I'm a great guy. I'm really funny, okay? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, snap. Watch it. <laughs> That'll cost you. Shout outs on my channel cost you. Cost you banana bread. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so it's finished. We just pulled them out, gave them a minute to cool down, and then we just turn the thing over. Because once you put the Crisco in, then it shouldn't stick to the pan. All right, you guys ready to try it? Yes. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> it's good. Do you like it for real? It it's good? like a football, dude. Go long. Ready? No, catch, catch. Today. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut this one that Dad just bit off of. <laughs> I bet the corner. It's my favorite part. So we can put some butter on it. Let's try it. Everybody take a bite. Ready? Ready? Mmm. That smells good. Did you like it? Heck yeah. When I was walking down the hall to come Here. home, I was like, whoa, it smells Where like someone's making banana bread tonight. It is good. It's really good. In the recipe, mom says put it in a plastic bag and it'll stay nice and moist. Mm -hmm. So do that. And enjoy yeah. your banana bread this Thanksgiving, guys. Baby Tart, what do you rank it? Four out of four bananas. How many bananas do you give it? Six. Whoa, that's off the charts! That's off the banana charts! We did it! Princess Tara, a five? A five bananas out of four bananas? You give it all the bananas in all the world? Every monkey that's ever eaten a banana gets this banana ranking on this banana bread? No, all of... <laughs> well, it's pretty dang good banana bread. That's what we're trying to say. Let's open the peasants now. <laughs> we got some presents. Okay. We love you guys. Happy Thanksgiving. See you next time. Thumbs up my wife's video! <laughs>